This is Salisbury Fire Department's Training Minutes. David Haynes, Training Captain with the Salisbury Fire Department. We're continuing on with our hydraulic series of training minutes, and we're talking about using the hand method with conversion factors to get the friction loss that we would have to calculate to get our required pump discharge pressure, specifically the friction loss part of that formula. So in the previous couple of training minutes videos, we were talking about the baseline for the hand method or the Q squared method, which is always going to give us a three inch hose number. And to essentially get there, you take the gallons per minute that you're flowing in hundreds of gallons a minute, and you divide it by 100, which is essentially knocking the zeros off, and then you square that number to get a three inch hose number. And then going from three inch hose to another hose size, you're going to add a step and do a conversion factor. In the previous training minute video, we talked about going from three inch hose to two and a half, and then because we're going from this size to a smaller size hose, the friction loss increased. So we end up with a conversion factor of Q squared times two. And that got us a two inch hose number. And then the previous uh, numbers we were using, we stayed in the 100 to 500 gallons a minute range. Uh, we're going now from three inch hose to the next hose size up. We'll do with four inch hose. And then because we're going up in hose size, the friction loss will decrease. And then that allows us to use some higher numbers or higher gallon per minute flips. So Q squared always gives us our baseline of three inch hose. And again, a quick refresher. You start with the gallon per minute number, whatever it happens to be. We'll, we'll talk about 600 gallons a minute here. You come across, and in the previous, we stayed from 100 to 500 gallons a minute, going from left to right on our hand method. And then what we're going to do now is change those numbers to 600 to 1,000. 600, 700, 800, 900, or 1,000. And then the very same method would apply. The palm, we put a multiplication sign there. It's a memory jogger. You divide that flow by 100, and you're getting to the size, which we're starting with 3 inch hose. So divide by 100 the flow, 600, 6 times 6 to square, that'll get you your 3 inch hose number. So for 3 inch hose, every 100 feet of 3 inch hose flowing 600 gallons a minute using the hand method, 600, 6 times 6 will be 36 pounds of friction loss. And then I want to really go through these as a quick refresher using that 3 inch hose method. So we'll stay with the whole numbers, 700 gallons a minute, 600, 700, 7 times 7 will be 49 pounds of friction loss. And this is this 3 inch number right here. 800 gallons a minute, 600, 700, 800, 8 times 8, there would be 64 pounds of friction loss if it were 3 inch hooks. 900 gallons a minute, 600, 700, 800, 900. 9 times 9, that would be 81 pounds of friction loss for 3 inch hose. And we'll come down here to 1,000 gallons a minute, knock off those two zeros, 600, 700, 800, 900, 10, 10 times 10, there would be 100 pounds of friction loss if we were trying to push 1,000 gallons a minute through 3 inch hose. So practicability, we're going up in hose size, so we're going to do a conversion to that and end up with a, a more workable friction loss. So to go from 3 inch hose to 4 inch hose, which is what we're going to be dealing with now, we take that formula here and then we divide by 5. So Q squared divided by 5 will give me 4 inch hose friction loss. So 600 gallons a minute, 600 using our hand method, 6 times 6 is 36. When you divide that by 5, you should end up around 7. That means there's approximately 7 pounds of friction loss for every 100 feet of 4 inch hose flowing 600 gallons a minute. And then you work right on up to do the same thing. So 3 inch hose number, 700 gallons a minute, 600, 700, 7 times 7 is 49. And you divide that by 5. You should be approximately between 9 and 10, close to 10 pounds of friction loss when you get to 4 inches. For 800 gallons a minute, 
600, 700, 800, 8 times 8 is 64, that's a 3 inch hose number. Divide that by 5 and you end up with uh, about 11 pounds of friction loss. We'll say, we'll say, excuse me, 13 pounds of friction loss. So almost 65 pounds. Divided by 5, 13. When you come down here to 900 gallons a minute, 600, 700, 800, 900, 9 times 9 is 81. Uh, that's 3 inch hose number. Divide that by 5. So 80 divided by 5 would be approximately 20 pounds of friction loss. And that's to get 900 pound, or gallons a minute through 4 inch hose. 1,000 gallons a minute. 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So knock off those two zeros. 10 times 10 is 100. You divide that by 5. I'm, I made a misstep right here. Apologies for that, I was thinking ahead. 16, 80 divided by 5, and then 100 divided by 5 is going to be 20. So, my apologies for that, no quick math. But fire ground hydraulics, using the Q squared method, 3 inch hose is the baseline. Take your gallons per minute, divide by 100, and then square that number to get your 3 inch hose number, and then your conversion factor to get to 4 inch hose, dividing by 5. that gets you your friction loss for your four inch hose. And then you can do the same thing we did earlier using your hand method to cross multiply for your in between numbers, 650, 750, 850, 950. So we'll come up here to 650 gallons a minute, 607, 650 falls between the two, six times seven will be 42. And that approximately divided by five, just over eight pounds of friction loss. So 750, seven times eight, 600, 700, 750 is between the two, seven times eight would be 56. So you end up with your divided by five there. That's going to be somewhere around 11 to 12 pounds of friction loss. And then work yourself right on up. So eight times nine. Uh, you end up with about 72, and then about 14 pounds of friction loss, 950, 9 times 10, 90, about 18 pounds of friction loss. So higher gallon per minute on this side because we're dealing with larger hose, your friction loss decreases, so you start with your 3 inch hose method, Q squared, hand method, come up with your first number which is that gallon per minute divided by 100 squared and then convert that to 4 inch hose by dividing to 5. Okay, So that's the quick down and dirty Q squared friction loss, the hand method, with a conversion factor to 4 inch hose. That's today's training method. Thank you.